In 2022, a man from Ohio shot his neighbor. Why? Because he was a conservative and he thought that his neighbor was a Democrat. This is a tragic case, but it's not an isolated one. This is the story of America today. It is more polarized than ever before. And frankly, it has been like that for quite some time. Political violence is not new, but in the U.S., it has been at an all-time high since 1970. Since 2021, 39 people have been killed because of political violence. And the numbers are only rising. Our next report tells you about America's growing political violence and how the U.S. is more divided than ever before. Butler County 911, where's your emergency? My name is Kristen King. All right, Kristen. My husband was just shot. That was Kristen King calling 911. Her next door neighbor had come over. Sounds like an everyday thing, right? But then the unthinkable happened. Her neighbor shot her husband in the backyard. Why? Because the neighbor was a conservative and he believed her husband was a Democrat. Political violence in America is not new, but it's definitely on the rise. This case was, however, not the only one. There have been 200 more across the US since 2021, an indication that the country is more divided than ever. The rhetoric surged mostly during the Trump era. It reached a peak after the 2021 Capitol riots. Donald Trump lost the 2020 election. He falsely claimed that the vote was stolen, and many of them still believe it. Take that house! Take it now! Many hoped that by 2024, things would cool down, that the rhetoric would die down. But it has only become more heated. The violence has killed at least 39 people roiled aspects of American life, disrupted gatherings, and turned neighbors into enemies. Some of these deaths followed one-on-one -on -one disputes, like this fatal brawl in Florida. The two men were arguing over Trump. Others happened at public gatherings, like the mass shooting in Portland. A Reuters investigation tracked violence in America, and here are the figures. Since 2021, there have been 213 cases of political violence. Two-thirds of those cases were physical assaults and or even confrontations. A third involved property damage. And 76 were individual acts of violence, aka loan assailants. This is not the first time America has seen political violence. It surged in the 1970s. 1970 alone saw more than 450 cases. But that was different. In 1970, American political violence focused largely on destroying property. There were attacks on government buildings, bombings. The idea was not to kill people. But today, it's very different. Political violence has surged to its highest levels since 1970. And the main target are people. There have been 14 fatal political attacks since the Capitol riots. 13 of them were right-wing and one was on the left. So the people who commit the violence are divided, but so is the violence that is committed. There have been mainly two types of violence. Fatal violence, like killings and shootings, which are mostly associated to those on the right. Then there is property violence, burnt cars, damaged property, and they are perpetrated more by people on the left. So America is in a very divisive period. It's political rhetoric pitching people against people neighbor against neighbor. The US has always had political opponents, but they are no longer divided by their views on issues. Instead, you have people on both sides demonizing each other, calling each other traitors, and in the worst case, even killing each other. America is in the grips of unprecedented political violence, its worst since 1970, and it's unlikely to change anytime soon.